are watching BNS News. Today's headline, the fire protocol safe moon loses $8.9 million in bug exploit. U.S. Central Bank implements digital currency strategy. Binance on-chain balance stands at $64 million, Nancy data shows. FTX $45 million CQR sale cleared as M divestment delayed. Signature bank crypto clients must close accounts within a week. Noble partners with a circle financial to integrate USDC on the Cosmos blockchain. Law firm's white paper claims US bank regulators are backing a clandestine financial war against crypto businesses. Canada to ask pension funds to disclose crypto exposure. OKX to apply for VSP license in Hong Kong. NFT collections by 00TS makes anticipated move from Solana to Polygon. Hilo Finance hacker apologizes return stolen $177 million. ZBD debuts global payment service powered by Bitcoin's Lightning Network. Decentralized finance project SafeMoon saw its liquidity pool and compromise on Tuesday through a public token bug with the attacker draining Grab BNB from the protocol. The central bank in the United Arab Emirates said it has started implementing its digital currency strategy with partners D4 to Cloud and R3. According to the central bank, the digital currency initiative is expected to further positions and solidify the UAE as the leading global financial hub. Binance on-chain balance remains high despite U.S. regulators charging Binance for violating U.S. federal law this past week and Forbes allegations last month that Binance series shuffle sure assets in a similar manner as FTX. A Delaware bankruptcy judge has approved a $45 million sale of FTX assets in Secure Capital Fund to the investment arm of Abu Dhabi, a Tuesday court filing shows. A signature was placed in receivership by the FDIC, the process of bidding for its remaining businesses operations as well as the branding associations the company kicked off. According to the token protocol startup Noble, the second largest stablecoin USDC will be integrated into the Cosmos blockchain as the company has partnered with the Circle Financials for the rollout. According to a recent white paper published by the four members of the law firm Cooper & Kirk PLLC, US bank regulators are attempting to drive crypto businesses out of the financial system. Canada national government said federally regulated pension funds in the country will need to disclose their crypto assets exposures to the Office of the Superintendent of Financial Institutions as Ottawa tightened its regulatory oversight of the volatile industry.